Today, I'm going to show you how to fix this hole I've got. First of all, I'm going to need to prop up the curtain carefully. I'll just put this in here like that. Right, so we've got this hole here, got myself some light speed filler, this is um, this is just, uh, I haven't opened this up yet, I'm just about to open it, it's um, for plaster and stuff, so what we're going to need is we're going to need a spatula like this first, you're going to need some plaster filler, we're going to need a board, a piece of cardboard, we're going to need a piece of sandpaper, I'll just rough the edges up with the sandpaper, just, uh, just around the hole. Now you've got to take your time, only reason I'm rough on the edges up, plasterboard filler sticks properly. So that's all I'm doing this for. And you can do this with any hole too, doesn't matter what size or anything. So we'll just get the, um, just grab some of this. Scoop a bit out. And we'll just put it over here. You want to go in a cross pattern. Just do little bits at a time when you're getting it out. Don't, you don't need to go trying to cake it on there. So keep it, keep it like, you know, little bits on here. And apply pressure to it carefully and um, just keep on going back to the the container to get a little bit more out where you got to fill them areas and just push it over to the back to you got to make sure that you don't get any of this stuff on the floor or anything it's not going to do any um it's not going to do damage to your carpet or anything but try and keep the area needs as possible when you got your anything on the, the back of it, you can clean this off by just rubbing on the lid. I'm gonna get a little bit more on here and I'm gonna force this into it, like applying pressure so it's a nice firm fit. And I'll go back the other way with it. And you can just keep on working it like that until you're happy with it. Well, what I'll do is, because I'm pretty happy with it, I'll clean this up, put this back in the, off, off the spatula, and I'll clean this up like that, and I'll give this about 15, 20 minutes to dry, and you can clean this up off the wall too, with just, uh, you know, a couple of tissues, if you've got tissues handy, just use your finger, you, you can um, wet this stuff, Uh, wet the tissue to clean it up but you know keep it very small around the area so it's neat and tidy because that's less work you got to do and um, I'll put the lid back on this stuff and while this is drying I'll take you to another area what I've previously done that needs a little bit more all right This is a this is another repair I did before, and it's got a few chips and stuff, and I never quite filled it up enough. So I'm gonna fix this repair while that other one's drying. What I showed you, I've got a piece of cardboard here. I've got my spatula, and I've got the um, light speed filler. Now this is for plasterboard. This is for it's. Ready mix, lightweight, non shrink, easy to sand, rapid drying, and water clean up. The directions on the side. This is just the brand that they had at the hardware shop. It's um just a white paste. It's 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 a pretty firm consistency. I had some before and it was a lot softer and easier to spread than this. But I've got me um craft here. And what I'll do first is I'll just get some sandpaper. And I'll just ruffle it all up so the stuff will stick to it. I'll just go around all the edges, just, just like that, light, very light pressure. 
Oh, it's not gonna be putting heaps of pressure on it. I've got 180 grit sandpaper here. And just, just rub it over the top of it. You don't have to put any pressure on it at all. Just nice and light. And this is just to make sure it bonds properly. So once we've done that, I've got a clean tissue here. You can use paper towel or anything you want. And all I'm really doing is I'm gonna fill in these, these um, chips in here. And you can also see it's got a low spot in it too. Apart from that, it's pretty good. And I'm just gonna spread some of this over it to fill that in. So I'll get me um, spatula. Grab my spatula here. And I'll just get a very light film. And I'll apply, I'll apply um, reasonable pressure to it. Not, not real hard pressure, but just reasonable, just to fill in any of them, any of them low spots. Just as you see like that, I've just got to get a little bit more here on my spatula, just a very light skim coat, that's all I'm doing. It, this is pretty much just like when you're filling in doing body work on a car and you're mixing up Bondo and you're about to put on the metal. This is the same sort of deal, how you spread it. You apply light, uh, not too much pressure, but reasonable, but not too light either, so you get air bubbles and stuff. And, and what we're doing is we're actually forcing this product into these cracks. And that's why we're applying that sort of pressure by And that's pretty good. There's a tiny little bit there with the edge of the spatula. I'll just try and get that with a pass while going upwards. And that's it. And that's perfect now. And what I'll do is I'll leave this to dry. So I've done I've done two repairs now. I've done the one in the the room, the bedroom, what you see. And I've done this repair. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just clean this up all you need is a tissue to clean this spatula up it will just wipe straight off this stuff while it's still damp just wipe him all off nice and neat and um, i'm ready to see another piece i'll bring this back and i'll show you doing the last finishing touches of it which if when you're doing this with the spatula it, it's a key to to try and get this job as neat as smooth as possible that allows less work when you go to sand it and you don't have to make a mess of it so if you're really messy with this stuff and you you just blob it on there and it doesn't get it all even and that you got to do a lot of sand and it's going to take you a lot of work so you know and then you'll start getting divots and all that stuff in it and to sand that you really want a small block and you can go you know different like you know crossways and up and down and that will cut all the outside of it down so it's all flush and even and neat and smooth. And that's how you do a repair of this. But when I'm up to that stage, I'm about to sand it, I'll bring this back and I'll show you how to finish it off. The only thing I won't be doing is painting it. Because I like to leave it a bit before you paint because this whole, whole wall's going to need painting to make it look nice. But yeah, when I'm up to sand it, I'll bring this back in and I'll show you how to do these, this other repair, what I've got too. All right, so this is dry. I'll just grab my sandpaper, a little block, and I'll just slightly sand it around the edges. And that's how you sand it with some um, light speed filler for plaster. So that's it. And that's done. And um, I wouldn't go painting over that yet. I'd give it a bit of time first before you paint it over it. And all the edges, it's all nice and smooth and all feathered out. Really nice. So that's good to go. And that's how you do a plaster repair. All right, it's been about 20 minutes or more. I've got myself a small rubber block here. 
I've got myself some sandpaper. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut this sandpaper out, a piece of it, to this size. And um, this sticky sandpaper, it's just 180 grit. Just got to peel it off. Peel it off like that. And just stick it onto there. And that's just my little block I'm going to use. And this is just to get it all even. So what you do now is, is just very light pressure. Don't go putting any pressure on it. And just all we're going to do is just smooth all that out so it's all nice and neat. So you've got no edge around it. So now it's really smooth and just very lightly. Don't go getting too crazy with it or applying too much pressure or anything. Just let the sandpaper do the work. Perfect it is. Nice and smooth. That's that's what I was saying about when you're doing the work. Make sure you um don't go making a mess of it because you've got to do it. Otherwise you have to do a lot of sand and want to blend that edges in so you can't feel it around it so it's nice and neat like that Gotta take your time, don't rush. No rush, and you want it nice and smooth like that. You don't go rushing anything or be in any hurry because you'll just make a mess of your nice work that you've done. And don't breathe this stuff in either. So make sure that after you're finished, um, you clean that stuff up with a just a tissue and damp cloth, or you can get a vacuum cleaner in it. But yeah, be very careful, don't go breathing this stuff in either. And that's how you sand it. Plaster filler, that's how you fix a hole. And um, I've got a couple of, got a clean tissue here, just wipe it off. And um, what you do then is, you, that's ready for paint. Like obviously if you've got any chips or anything, it makes sure it's nice and smooth. If you did have indentations and stuff in it, you can just get the um, filler again, plaster filler, and the spatula, and just put some more on it and wipe it into it. There's no amount of times that you, you can't do it. Just make sure the first coat's dry before you put the second on it. And um, yeah, that's it. And that's how you fix the uh, wall. And just you go around the outside of it, you can, in, if you, you can't catch your finger on it, you know it's perfect. It's got to be like a, you, you don't want your hand to be catching on any edges. So when you go around it, and um, yeah, that's it. And uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.